Oh my god. Hi, hello, hello. Uh, ooh, my mic is very loud. Hold on. Um, there we go. Uh, welcome to Defector Thursday Night Trivia. Uh, we haven't had one of these in a few weeks because of the holiday, uh, but here we are. Uh, I'm a little low energy today, so I don't have a big intro, but uh, Diana's hosting. Hi, Diana. Hi, and uh, yeah, we got Jasper, me, uh, Kelsey returning. I think you haven't Hello. played this season, I maybe? I think I played the first week. Okay. Well, the there you are. The People's Champion had a Nobody injury. remembers my... Yeah, I yeah. was on the <laughs> injury <You're> reserve. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got... Lo oh, we got Rado's loving it. Okay. Uh, we have Lauren, who has to go in a little bit, and then we'll probably just gift her points to Roth if he shows up. Uh, Samer and Patrick. Uh, Wait, yeah. That's... Karima's World Cup outfit. Oh my oh, god. No. <laughs> All the little Japanese buddies are so excited about the result today. Yeah, they got some like spawn con <laughs> partnerships with like Japanese apparel companies. Yeah, one of them posted a day early yesterday and they had to apologize. And then they did the post again today. So it's all good. <laughs> wow. Um, hold on. Someone is saying that Diana has Echo. Oh, no. That's... A lot of people have Echo. Well, first I'm going to start the bet so you can bet on that. Let me figure out why. Uh, there's Echo. What the fuck? Sounds like a personal problem. Double input happening somewhere? Is yeah, there... it seems like we're just giving them twice the stream for no extra cost. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, would it help if I unplugged and replugged in my headphones? If it's a bunch of us, it probably no, is No, I don't think us. it's you. Yeah. I think it's actually me. Hold on. Uh, okay, can you guys talk now? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Do you think it's very yeah. nice and optimistic of you to assume that I will have points to give in 20 minutes? I appreciate believe. that. Oh my god. Okay, so I got a new mic and I think it's just like fucking everything up. Oh, Diana, no. you can start like sharing it. Okay. Yeah, I'll figure this out. Let me share my. Do I remember? I Do I remember how to share my screen? Folks, we're about to find out. Um, Drama. <laughs> Do I remember how to share? Yes, I clicked the button. Wow. <laughs> uh, is there an echo still, chat? If there is, I'm going to swap mics. Just let me know. Hey, so I see it. Oh, I need to close my bookmarks because no one needs to see that I still have California unemployment on there like a real fucking journalist. <laughs> Who? I look here's info for mask testing. If anyone wants to see where the good KN95 subscribe are. Subscribe to Defector.com. <laughs> How do I? Wow. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. swapping mics. Nice. <laughs> like nothing <laughs> says I've been a journalist for two decades have. that I have unemployment booked box. Then I won't be deleting it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> like, okay, the echo should be gone. Chat. Sometimes I think about getting rid of it, and then I'm like, shit, man, I don't know. <laughs> right continue to subscribe to the defector.com so one day i will feel confident enough to delete uh my unemployment bookmark that that's that's the life goal here everyone okay are we good i could keep talking echo resolved uh yes okay uh real quick i'll run down the bets uh sammer 42 percent kelsey 22 me 18 Jasper 15, Lauren 2, Patrick, no one. Uh, you have one bet, I think. Stop gambling. <laughs> it was Patrick. Well, the, Patrick, the you better is, make them their bet worth it. Think how many yeah, points the they'll thing. get. Yeah. Because it's odds based. So whoever bet on Patrick is really going to get a lot. Anyway, go ahead, Diana. Sorry. Okay, great. Hold on. I have to pull up one last little cheat sheet because obviously for the one that Mr. Diana wrote, I don't actually like, I sort of know the answers. But okay, I've got that. Okay, so oh, no. BTS collaborators. These are all artists who have collaborated with BTS. Um, the Cradle of Quarterbacks. These are all questions about quarterbacks from the region known as Cradle of Quarterbacks, aka Western Pennsylvania. Uruguay Facts. Uruguay is my team in this World Cup. So, <laughs> so I said, I'd say we're going with Uruguay Facts. Um, none of these are actually about soccer, so you don't need to know much about soccer. California places I'm driving through to see Patrick and Rado. I'm going to be driving to our Bay Area holiday party for West Coast, Best Coast. So these are cities I will be driving through. And players who should have been sons, um, welcome to what it's like to live in my home where I constantly hear from Mr. Diana about players the sons should have drafted and he's <laughs> about it. So he wrote that category 
I actually do think I know half of them off the top of my head, but I don't want to take any chances. So, hooray, boards. Mm. Um, let's go. Uh, I put Luis first, so Luis. Okay. What was Cradle of Quarterback? Sorry. These are all quarterbacks from Western Pennsylvania. I'm sorry Sean's not okay. here. He could have cleaned up, but yeah. Hold on. yeah. Uh, I'll do players who should have been Suns for three. Okay. The Suns actually did draft this eventual four-time All-Star, 21st overall in 2006, then immediately traded him to the Celtics in one of Robert Sarver's infamous cash considerations <laughs> moves that helped take the seven seconds or less era. Is this Rondo? This is Rondo. Wow, and Patrick was shaking his head. I was like, I don't think this is going to get to me, but maybe it will. <laughs> oh, I thought you were shaking it that I was wrong. <laughs> um, Jasper, you are next. Let's look at some quarterbacks for 300. Yeah! A not quite quintessential Jets QB and that he actually won a Super Bowl. He played college at Alabama, but more importantly, he's from Beaver Falls, a town just outside of Pittsburgh. There's only one Super Bowl, that is. <laughs> 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 Joe Namath. All right. Samer, you are next. Um, California places for 300. I'm curious about this one. Question. This Central Valley city is famous for oil, agriculture, and a specific sound of country music made famous by Buck Owens, Merle Haggard, Gene Shepard, and later Dwight Yoakam. And I'm not actually driving through here, but the five goes close enough for it to count. Hmm. Now I need to try and think of what's between the Bay Area and L.A. <laughs> it's not, that's not that much. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of land. It is a lot of land. I'm going to guess... Thousand Oaks. I don't know if that's correct. It is not Thousand Oaks. Okay. Lauren slash Roth. Do not know this one. Uh, okay. San Bernardino. It's not San Bernardino. Kelsey. Bakersfield Country, God right? damn it. Mm. <laughs> Bakersfield! <laughs> right in front okay. of Patrick. Right in front of Patrick. Uh, give me players, for, <laughs> I know that. players for who should have been sons for four, please. Players who should have been <clears throat> sons for four. The Suns reportedly had a deal arranged with the Warriors in 2009 that would have landed them the number seven pick, only for Golden State to nix the deal when Steph Curry fell to them. To make matters worse, the Warriors killed the deal after the Suns, thinking Curry was theirs, passed on this other guard, an eventual all-star NBA champion and husband of the U.S. Women's National Team gold medalist, formerly known as Lauren Chaney, <laughs> and used their 14th pick on Earl Clark instead. You have no idea how many times that. Oh, that's, that's Drew Holiday. That's Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. Yeah. Now, but I don't need to double check. <laughs> this is like lore in my home. <laughs> we actually had a positive Suns headline today on Defector, and I told him, and he was like, no. <laughs> <He'll find laughs> <the way." laughs> if it makes him feel any better, I still hate them. <laughs> I was like, do you want to read it? He's like, no, they'll only break my heart again. <laughs> anyway, um... Louise. I'll do players who should have been Suns for five, just to take it from Patrick. Okay. The Suns could have drafted this breakout oh. player, currently the NBA's assist leader and a possible all-star, number 10 overall in 2020, as their post-Chris Paul solution, he went 12th. Instead, they took a guy they traded a year and a half later so they could get Tory <laughs> Craig back. <laughs> who went 12th in 2020? I don't know who the assist leader is. Hold on. Uh, that's too early. Mm. Tori. Oh God, I don't. I don't know. It's pass. Jasper. I think this was mentioned in a Chris blog this week. Is Fuck this you, Halberton? <laughs> this is how Terry's uh, Halberton. Did you is, make these really boards just leader? to torture wow. Patty? Did uh, did Halliburton did Halliburton have a game yesterday? Did anyone did anyone see if he did did the Pacers did the no, Pacers I didn't win? See. I didn't Speaking of California it. towns, um, someone <laughs> someone Google that. Um, <laughs> are the board is yours. Uh, I'll do BTS collaborators for two hundred. For two hundred. <clears throat> 
This rapper, singer, and songwriter from Los Angeles is best known to ARMY for his appearance on the drums in the yet-to-come music video, but you probably know him from his own songs, like Come Down, Bubbling, and Lockdown, or as being part of the duo Silk Sonic. Shit. I know the other part of Silk Sonic, I think. Is it uh, Anderson Park? It is Anderson Park. Okay, cool. Sweet. With a period in the name you do not say. Okay, <laughs> Lauren plus Roth. The board is yours. I'm going to try to get on the board with uh, hmm, a son for a hundred. Sons for a hundred. My beautiful The sons son. should have drafted this current <laughs> MVP favorite first overall in 2018. He went third. Instead, they took a guy who sometimes sleeps only two hours a night because he's busy gaming. <laughs> you don't know. I hear about this every day. Uh, 2018. That guy just won Western Conference Player of the Week. Also, down, like, Mr. Diana. I, a real award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, literally, you have no idea how often I hear about this. <laughs> like, he just got uh, him out. This guy's balling. He's playing the best hoop of his career. <laughs> Did you know he could have been a Phoenix Sun? <laughs> Who went second in that draft? I don't actually remember. I think you should tell us. Was it Tyrese Halliburton? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like that would not make Patrick as upset as the real answer. Might be off on this. Is it John ja Morant? Not John ja Morant. Kelsey. Sadly, my initiation as a basketball fan is still too new for me to know the answer to this question. So it's all good. Redford, Patrick. I feel it coming. DeAndre Ayton. No, wait, the answer. No. No, the, the other guy. The oh, Luke, Luke, Luke no. Sorry. Luke no, Luke boo. <laughs> No, it's fine. Louis, it's, it's funnier Luka. if Patrick only gets the hundred dollar put. Yeah, it's all. <laughs> yeah, this I, is like, I realized that as I was booing, I'm like, no way, he should this get is good. So I, I almost, I almost considered passing on it, but this is yeah, you did good game theory. <laughs> Actually, the right theory. answer was Marvin Bagley. Please, <laughs> which one would you um, like? Let's do quarter. Uh, let's do Uruguay for three. Bagley okay. Doncic right, matchup. Tonight. Uruguay for three. This is the capital of Uruguay, and it is a relatively short drive and ferry ride away from Argentina's capital of Buenos Aires. Montevideo. Correct. All right. Jasper, what would you like? Uh, let's do quarterbacks for four. Quarterbacks for four. A quintessential Lions QB and that he won zero Super Bowls. Okay, that's not very helpful. He was the QB charged with seeing the Lions through the initial post Barry Sanders era. After the running back retired, he didn't take them to the playoffs, but he did lead the NFL in game-winning drives in 2000. Then he became a Stillers backup QB, a notable guy around Pittsburgh who is not an asshole. More importantly, he is from Homestead, a town just outside of Pittsburgh. This is Charlie Batch. Is Charlie oh, Batch? Oh nice. uh, man, we need nice. Roth here. He has a Charlie Batch jersey. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie <laughs> Batch is like legit <laughs> beloved by Steelers fans, just for like he was like Ben Roethlisberger's backup for years, and it was just like, well, at least our backup's a nice guy. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> no, it was sad, take the wins sad. where you find them. <laughs> Stammer, the board is yours. You know who else is from Homestead, PA? Is Jim Tom Sula. Oh, wow. nice. the god! Yeah, um, I'll do. Look at all this Homestead PA pride. Yeah, I'll do BTS collaborators for three hundred. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take out question. That's how I write them. <laughs> Sorry. A certified <laughs> genius. This is a fact. We will not debate this. Best known for On and On, Didn't You Know, and Tyrone. Her live album included one of my favorite bits of dialogue on a live album of all time. Now keep in mind that I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. I should know this. Um, fuck. This collaboration hasn't happened yet, but it is going to become okay. available to public in like approximately five and a half hours when the new oh. RM solo album drops. Oh, damn, is this happening right now? <laughs> no, it's been right. five oh. and a half hours, but the track list is already been published. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to pass because. I don't have a good guess here. Okay, Lauren. Uh, I saw her with Nas at uh, Detroit's Shane Park ah, in 2015. She oh. actually showed up? Yeah. No, Stalking. no, it's Lauren Hill you're thinking of. Uh, this is Erica oh, right, Badu. Right, right. I did also yeah. see Lauren Hill perform oh. the String Cheese incident. One of the weirdest. What? Wow, a classic. <laughs> at, um, what? Electric Forest uh, up north in Michigan. It's like a kind of half hippie, half like 
EDM Frat Star Festival. Wow. I went in Love 2014. It. And this, Lauren Hill did a set. I think later that day, String Cheese Incident did a set. They did like three over the course of the weekend. And then they did like an encore with Lauren Hill where they did like like Stevie Wonder songs and the Beatles and just like <laughs> a bunch of like classic rock shit. Beautiful. I love how Lauren is secretly our coolest employee. Oh, like that, just low no. key. <laughs> String Cheese Incident is pretty definitively not cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> I could hear that argument, but not for that story. <laughs> Kelsey, the board is yours. Mm, give me California for four. California for four. Okay. This city shares its name with one of the LA region's iconic valleys. Actually, we just call this one the Valley. This city shares its name. So basically when we say the Valley, iconic like valley. what's it referring to? San Fernando Valley. Yes. All right. Uh, same thing, but for five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I went like this, only four showed up. I'll be driving through <laughs> this tiny Central Valley town of Lost Hills, which is infamous for being the last place this famous 1950s movie star stopped before he died in a crash on a dusty highway while driving one of his race cars. He was only 24. So That's name the famous nice. movie star. Not Are you going from five over to 101 or 101 over to five? I'll do 101 just for a little bit, but then I'll probably hop on the five and just do it nice. almost all the way there. This is James okay. Dean. This is James Dean. I've actually stopped in this town too. And it's it's like their industry now. There's like James Dean. The part closer to five is cool and weird. It is. It really is. Okay, Luis, the board is yours. Hmm, Cradle Quarterbacks for five. Cradle Quarterbacks for five. This QB is the quintessential guy. He even got an extremely guy name. He worked his way up from low round draft pick to starter for the St. Louis Rams, making two Pro Bowls in the 2000s, including one year when he threw a league leading 22 INTs. <laughs> More importantly, he is from Pittsburgh. 22. Yikes. Is this Mark Bulger? This is Mark Bulger. All right, Jasper, the board is yours. You're muted, You're muted, Jasper. Let's close out the Suns category. Okay, players who should have been Suns. The Suns should have drafted this eventual two-time finals MVP number 13 overall in 2011. He went 15th. They reportedly passed on him because he looked nervous and sweaty in his pre-draft <laughs> interview. <laughs> Instead, they took Markeith Morris. <laughs> That's like, so rude. <laughs> Two times finals MVP. That's so specific. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi oh, Leonard. Sweaty. <laughs> Leave Welcome him alone. <laughs> Maho. Welcome to what my life is like. Okay. That was Jasper Sammer. The board is yours. Uh, quarterbacks for 200. Quarterbacks are 200. The quintessential 49ers QB. He won some Super Bowls, for to be exact. <laughs> but more importantly, he's from Analgahela, a coal mining town just east of Pittsburgh. Is this Joe Montana? This is Joe Montana. Lauren? Try BTS Clabber Days for four. For four, okay. This rapper and producer who collaborated with the BTS vocal line on Bad Decisions is not exactly as his stage name suggests. His real life, his real name is Benjamin Joseph Levin. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the song is. I don't know this name. So, um, yeah, I got nothing. I'll pass. Kelsey. I do know this song, but I do not know this man's name. You're better off that way because now I do, and I and I it annoys me. No. Rapper and producer. Pass. Patrick. Biz Marquis. No, I'm afraid it's not Biz Marquis. Luis. I don't know. He is white, so uh, <laughs> it's Benny Blanco or Blanco. I guess yes, you it is. This dance. This man's name is Benjamin Joseph Levin. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't hear so much about Benny Blanco these days. Go to jail. I was, that name was so. I th I was gonna guess Hoodie Allen, which is an insane <laughs> guess. That's, like That's a pretty funny I guess. Who would I almost guessed When I looked that up, I was <laughs> like, no, no. <laughs> 
I'm kind of, I'm, I'm shocked he doesn't get more anyways for it. Ow. Whatever. I'm not in charge of the music industry. No one asked me my opinion. Um, Jasper, the board is yours. Uh, ooh. Let's do, let's just close out quarterbacks. The most painfully obvious one. Do I even have to write a question? Fine. The quintessential Pittsburgh QB. He grew up at Pittsburgh. He played at Central Catholic, then at Pitt. The Steelers would have approximately five bazillion Super Bowls if they took him in the 1983 draft. They did not. He went to Welp the Dolphins, where he won zero Super Bowls. This is Dan Marino. I didn't know is. people had angst about him. Huh? I didn't know that was like such an angsty thing for Pittsburgh. Steelers didn't draft him. No, he, right. he was drafted. I can't remember what number, but he a lot of teams like late, didn't draft yeah. him. Yeah, because um, there were rumors that he smoked pot. That's that was <gasps> the word on the street. Damn, that was, I like, <laughs> so Dan, Marino. But, like yeah. Dan Marino was a you know a fan of the grass, and because so <laughs> many teams passed on him, and no one ever understood why he was like a blazing talent out of college. And the word on the street, like never confirmed, confirmed, but you'll always hear like, yeah, supposedly just because he smoked a ton of pot, and teams thought that was like a, you, well, you know what I mean? Yeah, supposedly that's why the Dolphins got Dan Marino. Um, so yeah, Sammer, back to you. I'll do California places for 200. California places for 200. I'm really letting down the people who bet on me. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is the problem with Jackie. Um, I again forgot to delete the question part of my right. <laughs> I like it. This is where most of your friends from San Francisco actually live now, Oakland. This is so <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad everyone enjoyed that question, which I actually wrote. Um, okay, Lauren and Ra. Um, this is my last one, so I'm just going to do BTS for five. All right, well, we're going big. Okay. This one I did change around, although you do have to name a member of BTS. This BTS member collaborated with Charlie Puth on Left and Right and then went on to record oh. the two, 2022 World Cup anthem, Dreamers. How many people have listened to the song and know his name? I didn't know what this was. I, I know that you have told me that this is the most famous one, I think, or at least the most beautiful one. Is it V? It is not V. I'm sorry. V is very beautiful, though. Is he also the most famous? So... Who does one measure most famous? I would say that, like, <laughs> <laughs> I will say this in terms of Instagram followers. Actually, I think V has the most, and this guy has the second most on Instagram. So, in terms of like people who want to look at beautiful photos of him, he's the second most popular. I'm gonna guess you. Guess? Oh, huh? is it Jungkook? Oh, it's your turn, Kelsey. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kelsey, it's your turn. <laughs> is it Jungkook? Jungkook. How do you say it? It is oh, nice. Jungkook. Wow, someone paid attention to the World Cup opening ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> no, I paid enough attention to know that he was in BTS, yeah. but not what his name was. <laughs> okay, um, um, I gotta Patrick. go. I'm gonna leave Bye. my three hundred points as, as a monument to my excellence. Bye. <laughs> Um, give me uh, Uruguay for four. Uruguay for four. Though the real number is hard to pin down, it's believed that roughly 35 to 40% of Uruguayans are from this European country, are of this European country's origin. The answer is not Spain. It's a 50 50 bet. Yeah. Knowing what part of South America we're in here. Germany? Incorrect. Luis. Oh. Italy. The other one. Yeah. It, is Italy. <laughs> yeah. it had to be one of them. <laughs> Uh oh, Jasper. Jasper, the board is yours. Are you gonna go big to pay out the bet, or just get points? Uh, I love this gambling aspect because it affects us in no way. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I don't Sammer know. Was feeling For all of my fans, of it. let's do the one five hundred question that I let's definitely go. will know. The Jasper answer. Hive, rise up, rise up! <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's get some Jasper going. <laughs> <to that. laughs> Look at what's become of us. Okay, I'm going to sound dumb for a minute because I always ate it with my childhood friend Liz, mm. whose family's Uruguay, and I used to think this Italian pasta adjacent dumpling was from Uruguay. Pasta adjacent dumpling. I threw that part in there after discussing this question with Mr. Diana because he said it's just a dumpling, and I was like, but it's always under the pasta menu. Uh, 
this is this is great because it's not an actual fact it's just like a diana brain i like it (laughs) right like it's better than like because it was geography i'd be bad at it but this is just like navigating what italian pasta seems like dumpling is <laughs> like i legit for years was like oh this is like an uruguayan and like probably argentine <laughs> too delicacy, delicacy yeah. <laughs> and then people were like no <laughs> like, <my dad. laughs> i do have this in my freezer right now for if uruguay can make it out of its group however i am very prepared okay i'm gonna st- I, it's probably the chalk pick because i don't know that many italian pasta names so i'm just gonna say ravioli he's not ravioli okay well stammer uh let's see i was going to go with ravioli too. is it tortellini not tortellini shit uh, Laura Roth gets skipped over. Kelsey, is it gnocchi? Kelsey knows my brain. It's uh, gnocchi. <laughs> yeah, Dang. it was the freezer that did it for me. I was like, I bet it's gnocchi that she has in her freezer. I was like, <laughs> I always feel like in my defense, this was before we all had like really good internet and smartphones. But yeah, like a good chunk of my life was like gnocchis. They're like South American, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uruguay for two, please. Oh, did I get Kelsey you, her points? I don't think you do. Okay. Yeah. There we there go. We okay. Uh, Patrick. Uruguay for two, you said? Okay. I get it. the question. Question. <laughs> Uruguay has one of the best flags in the world with a happy looking one of these on it. Uh, the sun is kind of making one of these. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, what's it doing? You're just kind of like. <laughs> yeah, it really has like a, a smiley face. It, yeah. I, I Their appreciate flag is it. sick. I really like it's it. It's good flag. Like I feel like it's just some our flag's kind of lazy, guys. I'll say it. I gave Patrick <laughs> his points, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, Luis. I'll do your right for a hundred. Okay. Out of South America's nine Spanish-speaking countries, where does oh, Uruguay fuck. rank in terms of size? <laughs> okay. This Wait, size world? by land or like by population? People? By population. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eighth. Incorrect, Jasper. Fuck! <laughs> uh, ninth? Jasper uh, <laughs> redeemed it as the smallest! I thought Bolivia had less people. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, I guess Sam- it was the 100, so I probably... Yeah, didn't. Stammer, the board is yours. We've got two left. Um, I'll do California Places for 100. That's right. Let's see it, Stammer. Question. I mean, duh, I'm driving through here. I live here. Los Angeles? (laughs) Nice. I needed that. (laughs) And then, Kelsey, this is yours, BTS Bobby's for 100. This brand broke through with the song Yellow. It then recorded many, many more hits. You don't want to admit that you know the words, but you do. Wait, is it Coldplay? It is cold. Okay. I make like 100 Damn, I did easy. not know. <laughs> like, there's no so reason to hard. Yeah, I didn't know the answer. All right. Okay, uh, I need to transfer me... points. Oh, shoot. I... Okay. Shout out to the 18% of you that bet on me. Or I guess the 18% points. Congrats. Uh, I'm going to hit our ad break while Diana transfers I got to like, scores. yeah. You can stop sharing to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop share. Beautiful. Okay. And Rado's loving it. Yes. That's right. Oh, God. How's everyone doing? How's life? Okay, so I've seen <laughs> Oreo and Freddy having a little conflict out there, then Thomas just walked by. So that's the cat report. Oh, the good cat nice. report. Yeah. The real um, McKenna moment. I was like, who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oreo, Freddy. The interview with the Oreo <laughs> in Slack. <laughs> Um, I have a Roscoe report, which is I just took him for his 5 p.m. walk and he found a stick. Hell yeah. And he carried okay. it for his entire walk and was Good very guy. happy about it. Did you bring is it, it in your house right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I used to leave it like by our buildings, like trash cans and stuff. But then he had like a really good stick. I don't know, like a month ago. And someone took it from there. Uh, and I was so mad. It was probably another they, dog. Like, I was actually thinking it was just someone like. We do like, most points to least points. Or, sorry, or least, 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 least points. Least points. Okay. Um, but yeah, I figure it was someone like disposing of it because it was just like a branch, basically. But I was sad because he was like, it was when uh, Paige was out of town, 
So he was, so it was I, his emotional support. Stick. Yeah, basically, I had it. He had it like for all his walks oh, no. with me, and he was so good. But he just found another one, and I brought it inside because it's smaller. So I just I'm gonna keep it inside, so he can keep having it for his walks. That's he's nice so much better you. behaved. Wait, he's like kind of distracted all the time. But if he has a stick, he's like focused on the walk. He's like I pee. I poop, and then we keep going. My sister has an 115-pound pit bull named Brutus, oh and That's he a carries dog. a pink stuffed bunny in his mouth on no. their walks. It's his emotional <laughs> support bunny. And whenever he has the bunny, he's like a perfect dog. But it's yeah. extremely funny because he's this giant, giant dog, and he has this little, little it's pink, pink he, bunny. He, he has a job. Picture. His job is to carry That's the his bunny. job. Exactly. Yeah. He loves so working. Also, someone redeemed drink, so whatever you are drinking, oh, take a sip. I'm ready for whenever we are ready. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're back from the end. So. Okay. I will share my screen. Share screen. Share. <laughs> uh, Kelsey, wait, Did you before guys you share. see this photo of Brutus with his bunny? Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Look at him. Right, He's really cute. He wait, oh, dog. wait. I gotta do the bet. Did any of you guys see the dog on TikTok? I mean, only Kelsey's on TikTok. The dog that has an emotional support pumpkin. Oh, yeah. I love that dog. He's that been carrying so it around for weeks. Yeah. Then the pumpkin rotted and the, the owner had to uh, <sighs> slowly switch in a stuffed pumpkin of roughly the same size. And it's it beautiful. worked. So now yeah. it carries around a little stuffed pumpkin. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's cute. The dog picked out the little pumpkin at the pumpkin patch oh, and brought feel, it home with oh. him. I feel like in general that's a strike against dog intelligence that he got tricked by a stuffed pumpkin. <laughs> that's fair. That's definitely fair. Wow. Listen, that's a good dogs point. are dumb, Get his ass. and that's I fine. I did not that's have Stammer down as the person who'd come out with the dog slander. That no, just was I, like I like both cats and dogs, but I just think you gotta call it oh, as wow. you see it there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am fully a dog person, but dogs are dumb. And that's... that's like that's like a good thing about them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like that's I don't want an animal that is like constantly plotting my murder i want one yeah. that like doesn't <laughs> know stupid. what happened 30 <laughs> seconds ago yeah i also say this as i returned home last week to like my family home to see my cat for the first time in 11 months who just like hissed at me for walking too close to her on the stairs oh, and ran away sorry <laughs> Stammer. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no no oh. she was nicer after that day but that was yeah. like the first day it's always this like this is what cats do like when they first see you they're like how dare you leave me servant that yeah. was rude and unauthorized yeah. i will hiss and be angry wow we need a drab on star running backs to the nfl yeah hell <laughs> yeah. yeah okay Great so yeah category. Keep the board. Running back to this random used book <laughs> called Star Running Back for the NFL that I bought for four dollars at the used bookstore. Nice. I literally bought this because because I was with Mr. Diana. He was like, "You could do a tribute category." And I was like, "That's right. nice, <laughs> correct, good looking out, Mr. Diana." I know. Movies I've seen in theaters this year by IMDb description. I I was I just copy pasted IMDb. Okay. Nice. Broward football players because. <laughs> I felt like it. Um, what Fair. is this Bass Pro Shops thing? This is I like to think of this as more Broward culture right here. Ooh. I will show you an image of a thing from Bass Pro Shops, and you need to tell me what it is. Okay. Um, because I've actually been to Bass Pro Shops multiple times. Um, <laughs> because you just shop there, where I'm from. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff there. And it was so weird when it became like a hipster thing, and I was like, what? I just used to go there for shit all the time yeah. like, oh i avoided that in high school because of hate crimes i'm glad it's yeah. cool <laughs> i was like it's where you went to buy hiking boots like we didn't have other i don't know um air also do people know what's sold there sometimes anyways you might think differently about the hat uh arizona before and after these are air this is the other mr diana category uh so it's an arizona city that's part of a before and after nice. so nice Cool. Yes. Um, before we start, we got 44% on me, 39% on Kelsey, 14% on Patrick, 2% on Jasper, despite him having the third most points, wow. and 1% Rude. on Sam. Wow. Haters. I've lost up an extra 13%. Lost it is really close right here. Like, <laughs> I like... only 200, it is a close board. 300 points separates our top three people. This could be anyone's game. I like sharing these not to like shame anyone, but to like give motivation because it's always fun when like the 1% person wins because <laughs> then someone gets like 
fifty thousand channel points, which Hell they yeah. can really only use for Rados loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, sorry, Congrats go ahead. on your points. You get to do Rado's loving it 50 you get to times. You torture Luis and only Luis because none of us can hear that. Oh, I knew the second I said it, someone would use it. Thank uh, you. Let's get some Rado's loving it going in the chat. Only while there is a cooldown on it because if not, it would I wouldn't be able to hear you guys. <laughs> That's beautiful. That was like the chaos factor that someone's going to do one day. Like, just like like block jamming back to like back yes. they're just gonna be like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> rattles loving it <laughs> this is like a really bad ver our version of like the star wars thing where they're like how do we jam the imperial signal it'll just be someone doing rattles loving it to louise <laughs> 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 anyways Tamara, the board is yours i'm gonna go bold and go for running backs for a thousand okay Ooh. Wow. Hope that I can get there. Also, before before you guys question, uh, Bubba Jones uh, redeemed Sammer Speaks and Tony Voice, but I don't know what you said, so we'll get it after the round. Okay. okay. From the book, this five foot ten and 195 pounds, this Broncos running back seemed little among the Giants who were warming up for combat. But he grew in stature as the game began. When Blake did get the ball, he moved it, darting quickly through opening in the line, shifting speed smoothly, faking out defenders with jitterbug steps, breaking tackles with surprising strength, and pushing forward for extra yardage, also famous for being nicknamed the franchise. Wow. I really should have gotten a better sense of what era this book was published <laughs> but i'm trying to think of who are like a who's like a tiny guy who plays for the broncos is it chris henry not chris henry shit patrick can i ask what era this was published in <laughs> I, I feel bad because I feel like it would give that nah, I don't, I don't yeah. care Sarah, if you do it, so. That's Are fun. you sure, Sarah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Or just, I should have said this. Go forward. This is, I want to say these are more, off the top of my head, uh, 70s running backs. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. This okay. book is, I was $4 at the used bookstore, guys. Yeah. I briefly, while writing this category, had a moment of ennui where I was like, wow, this is such a good reminder that, like, no matter what you do in life, like, it's, uh, yeah. 70s? <gasps> okay, Melvin Gordon. Not Melvin Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need NFL films music for this category. Uh, Jasper. I, I, I also just want to say a running back's name. Olandis Sarah, Gary. Let's yeah, back. let's remember some guys. Who, Jasper? Olandis Gary. Not Olandis Gary. Kelsey? Pass. <laughs> okay, Luis? Clinton Portis from the U. That's He's right. Not Clinton Portis from the U. I think that's everybody. The answer is Floyd Little. Oh. I've never heard of that. Oh, so it's going to be a wordplay thing, kind of. Seemed oh, Little. Seemed Little, yeah. I mean, right. that's just how well, the author like, wrote that. I can't promise that yeah. for every answer. All right, so, yeah. Sammer, the board is yours again. Nice. Okay, I'll mix it up. Uh, Broward Football Players for 600. Broward Football Players for 600. Okay. You know this Pro Football Hall of Fame wide receiver for his electrifying catches, mostly with the St. Louis, St. Louis Rams, and being the second wideout in NFL history to have more than 1,500, 15,000, excuse me, receiving yards. In Broward, he's also known for leading Dillard High School into the 1989 Florida State 4A Championship. Ooh. There's two guys I'm thinking of. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's one, let's go one of two ways. <laughs> yeah. I just need to figure out. I'm going to go with Joe Horn. Is it him? Uh, Joe Horn. I'm sorry. That's okay. That was not one of the guys. That was not one of the guys. Yeah. I thought. Wait, is he not? Wasn't Joe Horn the Saints? Yeah, didn't he play for the Saints? Oh, wait. <laughs> no, I know what I did. Oh, <laughs> is, this, is this, it must be Isaac Bruce. I'm going to roll the dice and pick that one. It is Isaac okay. Bruce. Oh, the nice. pride. Uh, between that and Tory Holt. Yeah, yeah, that's what's, what I was thinking of. And I fucking what's the largest Joe A in Florida? <laughs> Is it 5A or 6? I think it's a 6. I think it's, I six. Think it's 6, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jasper, the board is yours. Uh, let's, Sammer, let's... you had two letters right in the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> let's see a movie you've seen uh, for 600. Yeah, for 600. Let's see some movies I've seen. An aging Chinese immigrant is swept up in an insane adventure in which she alone could save the world by exploring other universes, connecting with the lives she could have led. Uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Yes. Wait. Yes. Which 
I'm gonna I'm gonna say it as the one Asian person on this. It was it was it was good. It was not. I don't know what everyone was. Oh no, he's out. going off. Oh man, <laughs> I loved it. I have it as my best thing I saw this year. <laughs> I guess I uh, nice the, the woke liberal media got I know, to me. That's what I am. That's wow. what I am. I like got misty during that movie. Oh my god, so embarrassing! But also, you could be like Diana. You got no peace South American. It was a good time in the movies. I can't. I disagree with that. <laughs> Kelsey, the board is yours. Give me Bass Pro for six. <laughs> All right, that's Southern fun. culture. Southern culture, baby. What is what this? What the fuck? Let me double check what this is. It's like a. <laughs> It looks like an anchor, like that you would put into the water. I'm gonna give it to you, anchor. Nice. Oh. Oh wow. That was right on. Nice. I was gonna guess grappling hook. Yeah, I was gonna say Batman. <laughs> I like how everyone's region shows and what they see in the item. It's like a Rorschach test. <laughs> Luis, the board is yours. Movies I've seen for a thousand. Yeah, Ooh. that's a smart bet. Uh, Again, yeah, forgot to delete the question part. A detective <laughs> investigating a man's death in the mountains meets the dead man's mysterious wife in the course of his dogged sleuthing. I just saw this this past weekend on Saturday. Okay. Luis, you better get this one. I know this. Sam or Sam goes for you. Wow. You've been Diana, can I ask a question? And that question is, did you like this movie? I fucking mm. love this movie. Otherwise, okay. I wouldn't put it. I don't. I'm not. I don't put like things oh, I yeah. hate. Roth is here. Let me. Okay. Um. Fuck. I don't. <gasps> oh, a movie Louise hasn't seen. Oh <laughs> I just the assume like the culture is chance... downloaded into your brain. There is a chance I might have seen this and just don't remember. Okay. Um. A detective investigating a in the mountains. I got nothing. Pass. Dammer. It's it's Roth. Oh, is oh, yeah, Rothian? Yeah, oh, did I take over for Lauren? Yeah, yeah take so it over 300 for Lauren. points. You're in an unfamiliar setting. Okay, so the, this yeah, is the question. I'm in the office. Wow. Oh. Yeah, because I had to go visit a friend at the damn hospital in Park Slope, oh, and then no. I stopped here to do my therapy, uh, which was <clears> very normal and felt amazing. Very, yeah, positive yeah. sentence right there. Yeah. That echoes said, but... in the background. Good. Yeah, I'm doing a video here tomorrow too, so I might just stay over and yeah. get a <laughs> feel for the place. I, you know, then the you'll be you'll be on time. If yeah, you I'm gonna be on, I mean, <laughs> You know, I also, I mean, whatever you guys have all done video with me, like I'm in the hair and makeup chair for like six hours. Before yeah, we start doing that stuff. stubble doesn't stubble. Yeah, itself. it's all prosthetics. Like yeah, I have to get all... there's an exact <laughs> replica of my own face that's painstakingly applied over the course of hours. To my wow. own. Um, is this movie Decision to Leave? God damn you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what the hell is Decision Man, to Leave? It's getting sniped. It's a Korean movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, about, it's about being horny for. Never mind. Yeah. I, just, I didn't even think you had read the question yet. So no, I, uh, Rob just came in fire. Yeah, I actually did, I didn't read the question. I was just thinking Diana likes Korean stuff, so it's probably <laughs> it was either like this is either barbecue or decision. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna add this to my letterbox watch list. It's supposed it to be great. It is very good. It is very very good. Hey, all right. Okay. Um, Saber, come on, like okay. a thousand points. Oh. Rob is just like boom in it. Um. Sarah. This was already on my letterbox watch list. <laughs> I can't believe do... I saw a movie before Luis. That never happens. I'll do Broward football players for 400. Okay. Hope I can figure this out. <laughs> this Pro Bowl pass rusher for the Giants and Buccaneers now plays for the Ravens. And Broward, he's also known for being a standout basketball player okay. at Deerfield Beach High School. who switched to football in his junior year after a leg injury. There's also the matter of the fireworks. That happened in Broward too. <laughs> <laughs> this one I think I know. Jason Pierre Paul. Yes. Okay. Three first names. Yeah. He's a uh, a disgrace to the uh, P hyphen P community. <laughs> <laughs> Excommunicated from the PP gang. You know what the wildest part of this is? Is that when I I was double checking this to see like did because it was unclear for a while where the fireworks thing had like mm. happened um, mm. because he ended up at Jackson, really. if I remember correctly. 
<laughs> um, and so it actually happened in Coral Springs, which is my hometown. Oh man! Wow. Coral Springs. <laughs> That's our contribution to the culture. <laughs> uh, give me movies for eight. Movies. Fuck. That's all. <laughs> Oh my god! So that's running backs. <laughs> <laughs> movies, movies, movies. Sorry, it's having too much fun. Control. Two lifelong friends find themselves oh. at an impasse, and one abruptly ends their relationship with alarming consequences for both of them. This is the banshees of in in sheer in, 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 in you know initiation in Sharon, something like that. Yes, that Ben Sheeran. Right. Yeah. Sharon. Yep. Ben yeah. Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to see that too. Jasper, the board is yours. Uh, but, uh, sure. Let's open that running backs category up again. Eight hundred. God damn it! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. scouts worried about his lack of speed, but Miami picked him in the first round. When he reported heavy, he was placed at the fat man's table, where overweight players were put on a diet. He lost a few pounds and slowly established himself as a pro standout. Also famous for moving to Alaska and hosting hunting and fishing shows on ESPN2 and OLN. Oh. I'll is add this, he's one of the mouthier players about a certain record that the Dolphins Is this had. Zonka? Yes, this is Larry nice. Zonka. Nice. Nice. Lerald. Laird Zonka. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Kelsey, the board is yours. You may Bass Pro for eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this? Ooh. it's a like um it's like a little stove like it makes fire for camping that's right propane stove nice. see i was gonna say that's also an anchor propane and all? propane <laughs> accessories they have those our, with bass pro this is the rorschach test for all of our cultures <laughs> bass pro shop if you want to sponsor defector thursday night trivia my yeah. email is albert at defector.com yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me. Is yours. <laughs> oh fuck oh, i don't know arizona um movies for four set in the international oh. world of western <laughs> classical music this film centers on olivia tar Queen. widely considered oh, one of the greatest living composers <laughs> first of all you both dabbing of a major german <laughs> orchestra how is this the 400 clue I haven't seen this, but I know it's Tar. <laughs> tar! Oh, Samra, I thought you were dabbing. That would yeah. be uh, such an Samra amazing... Samra just said in Zoom chat, I was coughing for the record. And I, I would laughing. like to clarify also for the record, I was dabbing. Yes. <laughs> Lydia oh, yeah. Innocent. Uh, Patrick was yelling Queen, and then I looked over <laughs> and Samra was like innocent. this. <laughs> <laughs> Roth, would you like a category? Also, I should tell you this running backs one, they're all mostly like from the 70s. I figured that out because, yeah, th I mean, first of all, that, that title right there would not, it wouldn't be called <laughs> that now. What, uh, Arizona before and after, tell me Those a little bit about it. cities in Arizona that are smushed together into a before and after. Mr. Diana wrote that one. Oh, interesting. All right. Let's try, uh, let's try that for eight. Oh, interesting. <laughs> That's fascinating. <laughs> okay. The home of Arizona State University, Moonlight, as the bass player <laughs> for the Fallout Boy. Oh, all right. Um, Come on, put the put the eyeliner on, sweep your bangs. You got this. Oh, uh, Tim <laughs> Pete. I'm forgetting his last name now, though. Oh uh, <laughs> shit. It's okay. When Mr. Diana ran this by me, I said the wrong Pete too, and it was like he's like, no, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of one more in the news right now. If I can tell you who he's married to, do I get partial credit? <laughs> That's yeah. my category. Uh, <laughs> actually, I think you got to know the name. I'm sorry, because I know we've got people. Wait, who, who is name. he? Oh, I remember. He's married Although to. Although they're not married anymore. anymore. Yeah, they, 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 they got divorced. Oh, yeah. that's tough. That's a tough one. Um, <laughs> she's married to like some random. If they were guy. still yeah. married, you get the points. But since yeah. They yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not it's not a spousal privilege. Yeah, there's more than I guess there's more than one victim in every divorce if you think about it. Wow. Well, no winners. Uh, who knew this one would hit you so hard? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't think I'm gonna remember his last name, so I'm just gonna lay this one on on uh, Samer's plate there. Samer, good question though. Thank you. Is it Tempe Tempe Wentz? 
So the answer that I had, I kept coming back to Pete Wells, who's the Times restaurant. Critic. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying Pete Davidson because when, when the is, question was read by me, I was like Pete Davidson, and he's like, thoughts, no, Diana. Yeah, at Wells, least yours is, is like Pete Wells <laughs> in the same demo. Mine is just like yeah, thoughts of washed man. <laughs> like it's really embarrassing. No. Um, okay. Give me Brass Bass Pro for a thousand. Wow, oh, trying to steal from Kelsey. Oh my god, so much drama on these boards. What is this? What the fuck? Ooh. Oh yeah. I would like a scale bar in the corner here. That'd be very helpful. <laughs> yeah. thinking so hard i will say i came up with a, a funny goof answer so <laughs> well, i hope i hope it gets back to you um uh, can i give me one second can i uh, zoom this in for the chat oh nope that's too far too much zoom um let's try that oh okay there you go chat are these like tent stakes they are not tent stakes i'm oh, sorry jasper I... this is um like really advanced spear fishermen they just get like a little <laughs> like just a, one little one you just go and you spear them yep yeah He's it's really right. accurate you didn't give jasper his points yet <laughs> mm, i also thought these were tent stakes but they're like more needle like than tent stakes i, mean, I should say because i guess the photo i the they're bigger like this photo is small but picture spready outy like do you know what i mean like they're like this big or like they're like this big i don't oh. think they'd be like this big but they're fishing for like... hints yeah mm -hmm. it's just oh, good so, gamesmanship i don't know i just but although i'm actually, actually now that i think about it they're not that, that big actually never mind forget everything i said i was overthinking this what not that they're not crazy. They're like nice try, Kelsey. It's a normal size protuberance. Find a new slant. <laughs> yeah, they're like normal size. Now that I think about it, actually, maybe now they're even smaller. Though. I think about okay, it. since this is okay. nice. so they have since a size. This is the a thousand. I'm gonna go taxidermy needles. Is that what no, these are? No, they are not. Ooh, I'm good so guess. sorry, yeah, Louise. Like that. Okay, so you said they're not that big, so. Huh. Probably not fencing swords. Um, <laughs> There's no way they sell fencing swords. That's they sell that like that's at, at fancy the people shit. <laughs> yeah, that's like at the Columbia University gift shop in my mind is like a fencing sword. <laughs> okay, is shout this, out to Megan Green. Like, we love her. Um, like you would put food on it to like roast over a campfire. That's not. This. I don't. I think you um, could like use yeah. that to do this, but that is not its main purpose. I am so so sorry. I think they have skewers, right? What yes, is that? that is the word I yeah. cannot not skewers. remember. That's what, what do you call them? Po pokies? No, I think it's, yeah. Oh, it Laura, raw? raw, sorry. Raw. Yeah, are these uh, are these um, festive citronella candles for your, for your campsite? No, they are not, mm. Sammer. Right, Sammer Genda, let's go. <laughs> no, I was just, well, the goof answer was there's a little acupuncture set for the fish that you caught. Oh, <laughs> but that's not it. That's the only answer I have. <laughs> These are darts for your blow dart guy. Oh, this oh, is yeah. your yeah. Yeah. Really close. Oh, that was Damn. kind of close. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you promise you don't blow dart. I don't. I, yeah. You don't Functionally, blow dart this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. Arizona for a thousand. Things are getting real here. Okay. The capital of Northern Arizona's Geek Country is also a renowned profile writer who told the world how oh, in trouble Fleischman is. Oh. Uh, Oh, fuck, but I don't know the city. Wait, I'm getting the book. Hold on. <laughs> Is this Old Taffy Brod to Sir Ackner? I don't remember how to pronounce her name. Like, What Alta was the first town? Alta is the ski town. No, that's not okay. it. I'm sorry. Jasper. Oh. I've actually uh, been to the city, too. Uh... Very yeah, pretty. Uh, 
No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get okay. there. Okay, these are tricky. Is it, see. is it Flagstaffy? <laughs> God damn it! Oh, that's oh. fucking wild. <laughs> Flagstaffy. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Dad is really proud of that's a good Yeah, thousand. that's a good one. I like yep. it. Really proud. There should be yeah. more baby talk questions where like you have to write like the name of that book would be like Fleshy is in Trubby. You know, like <laughs> Is that book Someone good? Take... Oh, that was uh, Kelsey and Kelsey so. The okay. book is not good, I think. The oh. show is a little better. Yeah. Is Flagstaff in my... Northern Arizona oh, wow. is my question? We have like gotten so many people institutions. Yeah. Where was uh <laughs> Anybody know where uh, Fleischman is in Trouble was filmed? Anyone know what Manhattan neighborhood that was filmed in? Was it filmed in your neighborhood? Yeah, it was. Good, you go good guess, Kelsey. Mode on Fleischman wow. is in Trouble. Yeah, I went. I He's asked where Fleischman went to high school <laughs> on, the, on the stream. Where did he go to high school? I think he's from California. Yeah. He could be from um, Sacramento. Uh, no, I think he's from LA. The board is yours. Uh, I need points, so Broward for a thousand. Let's see Whoa, if my neighbors to the see, north. Yeah. Let's see how much Broward culture you know. This guard played 12 seasons of the NFL where he blocked for an arrangement of QBs, mostly for the Seahawks and Vikings, before being elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2020. In Broward, he is also known as the pride of Coral Springs High School, other than me, of course. <laughs> Fuck, it couldn't be a tackle. I know tackles. I don't know guards. Uh, Seahawks and Vikings guards. I'm not even going to waste time past. So, oh, wait, no, feel, Lauren Roth. Yeah, I feel like I'm thinking of a tackle, but. Seahawks and Vikings. Tackles are cool. Yeah, it's not Walter Guards Jones, because Walter cool. Jones is a tackle, right? Yeah, it's not Walter Jones. Okay. Roth, that's also Good what I was thinking play. of. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is saying a lot about my high school. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> you got an NFL Hall of Famer. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, but like. Does it count if no one could name? Yes, he's yeah. still in the Hall of Fame. We already know where he went to high school. Yeah, I'm trying to do the math here on like, well, I, it doesn't necessarily match up because it might have been a, a long time till he got in. Um, shit. Orlando Pace, I don't know. Is not Orlando That's Pace. A tackle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, so I don't know. No one knows the guards. Everyone knows tackles. Yeah, this Patrick. Is Full questions not loading for some reason. So I'm saying people went to Coral Springs High School. Is it Diana Moskovitz? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh, I oh no, you were class of 2019. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I wish. Um, Jasper. I think I actually know this answer. It's because he he had like a contract thing when he moved uh -huh. from the Seahawks Vikings and it's uh it's a uh, Hutchinson. Steve Hutchinson oh, really? Jasper's uh, coming from Damn nice. Nice. Damn. Oh shit Jasper. Okay Kelsey the board is yours. Give me Arizona for six please. Arizona for six. This state's the state's second largest city and home to University of Arizona wrote some absolutely legendary Broadway musicals before dying at the age of 91 last November. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> to Sondheim. <laughs> These are fucking is lights right? out. Amazing. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, I can't come to her points. Okay. <laughs> These are funny. Luis, the board is yours. I, I've been boomed. Broward. Diana, Diana has boomed me. Uh, movies for two. I just need. I need a wow. one here. The gambling curse is real. <laughs> See, Stammer, Stammer. Mm -hmm. Stop gambling. Stop gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to take that part out. A young couple travels to a remote island to eat at an exclusive mm. restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu with some shocking surprises. Uh, this is the menu. The menu. Do you like good? it? I did like it. I feel like it's kind of underrated. Like, it's really, it's actually really good. I enjoyed it. It seemed like, I wanted to see it. It, just it seems like, the sort of like movie a movie that, I would like. So yeah. My also, seems like the sort of movie uh, they used to make a lot of, you know, that you could just yeah, sort of fucking Yeah, it's a sort of like I love that kind of movie. thriller. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's good. Like, I'm kind of surprised it's not getting more buzz, because like it's it's good. Yeah, I love a movie where the cast of... is four people. 
that's the type of movie that I'm very excited to watch on streaming in like two months. I will tell you about a completely psychotic movie I watched all of last night uh, during the ad break. But, okay. Um, okay. For uh, the time being, I will select uh, Broward football players for eight. <laughs> that's right. This longtime Arizona Cardinals quarterback, an occasional cornerback, an occasional power turner, recently joined Minnesota in Broward. He's also known for being a standout who played offense and defense at Blanche Ely High School with his senior season, including 733 yards, 11 touchdowns, 21 tackles, and five interceptions. USA Today named him Defensive Player of the Year. Is this uh, the legend Patrick Peterson? This is the legend Patrick Peterson. A cool guy. Nope, you gave Patrick the Oops, my bad. It Patrick was the Patrick. Logan. I hear Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. yeah. All right. The Patrick brand is Patrick P. Redford. Stammer, <laughs> <laughs> the board is yours. Uh, I will do Arizona before and after for 400. Okay. An old money suburb that turned into a party haven was the son of an auto racing legend and went on to win 26 <laughs> races himself. This. Oh, I feel like there's two of them here. Is this Glendale Earnhardt Jr.? Yeah. Man. I, I knew his auto. Patrick. <laughs> auto racing is like cars, right? No. <laughs> it's, it's Vroom <laughs> and potentially. It's actually when you race vroom. computers. <laughs> you race them against this is. Uh, that was like such a gamer question. Wait, do you mean the car? This is um, Sedona Max Verstappen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Did not hear my answer. <laughs> Is it actually Glendale? No, that wasn't the, no. that Just part was wrong. Jasper. Jasper's gonna get this. I Never feel mind. it. Muted. They were laid it up. It's Scottsdale Earnhardt Jr. Scottsdale Earnhardt Jr. I wasn't listening. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Arizona sucks. Is my point. Right? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Now we can cancel the whole state. We've insulted so many people on this one. Stream. We've insulted like Columbia University. Yeah, this has it's been an ordinary, Arizona. an ordinary stream today. No. <laughs> I gave Jasper his points. Okay, who else are we canceling next? Kelsey, let us know. Give me Bass Pro for four. <laughs> what is this? Uh, that's a hunting <laughs> chair. You strap it to a tree. <laughs> That's a great JPEG. They call so it tree stand, but right, like same same thing. Why? I'm just now noticing it has the little camo on the yeah. seat back. Yeah. Those are the little details are what make it Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, yeah, because that'll make it a ton more comfortable to be in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that the only camouflage part is like the least visible. Yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Feel like your back that's important. <laughs> Louise, the board is yours. Uh, running backs for six. Yes. Yeah. Oh, just so you know, Rothies are like, oh, yeah, you know, they're all I know. these guys. I'm, looking I'm forward sorry to I can't read this in, like, true NFL films voice. Question from the book. Dallas drafted Blake in the first round after 22 teams had passed over him. Later, Tom Landry told writers, Blake may be the finest running back I've seen in 20 years. He makes the big play game after game. Also famous for being Grant Hill's dad. I believe his name is Calvin Hill. Yes, that is Calvin Hill. Nice. Okay, that was Luis. Roth, the board is yours. I'll take the um, 400 for this one. Okay. From the book, once he got his helmet hearing aid, Blank reacted to the signal caller's cadence like a coiled spring, and he had his plays down pat. Suddenly, everything started to click for Blank. He won a permanent position in the now commander's backfield. <laughs> and by season <laughs> then, he was fourth in the NFL rushing with 888 yards, averaging more than four yards per carry. Also famous for his namesake, won the 2004 championship as Pistons coach. Hmm. So I don't know the football player, but is, is his name Larry Brown? His name is Larry Brown. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> nice. Basically, Mr. Diana said all this is too hard, and he, he made me add things. <laughs> no, it's important. Otherwise, I would have been like... Yeah, I have no idea who that man is. Sean Riggins? Yeah. <laughs> Sam, or the board is yours. Uh, Arizona before and after for 200. <laughs> Arizona's capital and largest city went on to win several national championships and be friends with Joe Manchin. <laughs> Wait. National. I'm so confused. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, just stretching is... the limits of before and after. Yeah. yeah. No, it works if you. Yeah, you know, there's just press... a little bit of a... it's it's auto, auto. It's like before and kind of. Say it out so loud. <laughs> I'm not getting it. I'm gonna. Pass oh wait, it. no, it does work. You're right. Yeah. Patrick. Uh, Phoenix Saban. Uh. <laughs> Phoenix Aiden. Yep. Jasper, the board is yours. Uh, let's do Broward football player. Okay. You know him as the current Seattle Seahawks starter having a shockingly good season in his 10th year in the league. In Broward, he is also known as the former starting QB for Miramar High School. Man, Jets fans really feel some kind of way about this this season. Uh, yeah. This is Geno Smith. <laughs> Like, if he hadn't just punched that guy in the helmet, like, maybe he would be doing this for us yeah. for many years. Wow. Wait, I thought he... Yeah, wasn't... he got his jaw broken. Oh, he yeah. got yeah. punched in the jaw. If he yeah. had given that guy 20 bucks yeah. or whatever it was. <laughs> yes, yeah. it was. It was, a, like, a really If he small... didn't have it a was, glass jaw. $600. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I think well, I would pay six hundred dollars not to get question. punched in the face yes, by an NFL absolutely. lineman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kelsey, the board is yours. Bass Pro, please. All right, what is this? That's a dog bed. Also a tree stand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything is a tree stand. Look at you, the camo. You want it enough. <laughs> That's actually David Roth camo. Yep. Uh, <laughs> David, David Roth signature edition tree stand. <laughs> By signature yeah. line with bash pro, bash pro shots. Be <laughs> you in like some oh, country we've lost singers. Diana. Yep. You got Diana's her. gone you Chris got Thompson her. mode. Just, just send the clue up. You don't have to talk. Luis yeah. knows what he's getting. <laughs> Made as many spectacular runs as any man in the history of professional football, many of them covering 80 yards or more. He said the league record was six touchdowns on kickoff returns, those covering 90, 93, 96, 97, 97, and 103 yards. Longtime foe Deacon Jones said you could reach for him and he's gone. Also famous for being played by Billy D. Williams in Brian's song. Didn't get the first part of the clue. Get the second part. Uh, it's Gail Sayers. Gail Sayers is correct. All right. All right. Kelsey is the winner yeah. so 39 percent of you all right i gotta transfer scores and then i'll show to everyone the final who category thank yeah. you so yeah. you show a category we message you on slack okay. and then should i transfer let me write these scores down yeah. first though before i yeah. forget hold on you can stop sharing too. okay I'm hit our ad uh what was it that something was happening at the end oh i was gonna oh <laughs> insane movie yeah, yeah i was gonna describe yeah, what did uh, you see the 2013 Ridley Scott Cormac McCarthy collaboration, oh. The Counselor. Oh, I was gonna watch this that. Is, wait, this is my second time hearing about this in the last four days. Yeah, yeah I'm very so excited, or three days. Has someone else seen it? No, but I was gonna watch this. Like it is this weekend. <laughs> incredibly Why? insane. I had always been fascinated by it because it's it's incredibly overqualified cast. It's like yeah, not overqualified. It's just like it's a Ridley Scott movie, but it's like Michael Fassbender, Penelope Cruz. Cameron Diaz, Javier Bardem, and Brad Pitt. That's just the, oh, wow. the, wow. the title people. And it is the only screenplay credit that Cormac McCarthy has. And it is fully, what? like, there are parts of the movie that are very, it's like a Cormac McCarthy thing in the sense that it's like kind of heisty. It's in the West. It doesn't really get resolved. It has um, implications to do with, like, you know, human uh, metaphysics and stuff of that nature but also it has a lot of like really weird um hard bitten dialogue that is like that cameron diaz has to deliver what? while wearing like fabulous riding pants <laughs> javier bardem <laughs> is styled to look like brian grazer if you know who that is like the film producer whose hair what? is sticking up all over the place he's got crazy big glasses okay. on he's extremely horny he wears white pants almost exclusively in the film i love all of this review is about pants and just that alone i'm at it my yeah list. it's um it's very well pants. made it is not good and i did not find it necessarily satisfying and yet i'm very happy to have seen it because it's like an authentic oddity like in every way it's really bizarre that that movie got made it's especially weird that cormac mccarthy who was like he's very old now like he's got these two <laughs> books coming out but he's like almost 90 i think and the idea that like in 2012 or something like that, he was like, I wrote like a heist movie, but it doesn't, it's not really clear what's being stolen. 
also there's some like sex stuff in it but it's not sexy it's mostly about um how how sex makes you uh, crazy and then like ridley scott's like fabulous i would love to direct this colvick thank you so much it is a, a remarkable ready, document already yeah <laughs> your thing uh we're good yeah. okay i will share my screen uh, i will hold on once again oh, struggling. uh while she's doing that drink Oh, uh, fuck, who was it? Um, Bubba Jones, can you quickly tell me what you wanted Samer to say in the Tony voice? Because I didn't see it while we were in the round. Okay, the category is, it's Grand Prix season. <laughs> I don't know if I want to clarify more or not about what this means. No. Don't. Be, okay, yeah. it's Grand Prix season. Oh. Huh. Hold on. Samer, I'm messaging you. Okay. Why I can't type The thing here is oh, Kelsey. Shit. Nope. No, it's Kelsey fine. It's fine. Not... Everything's fine. Kelsey doesn't necessarily go for it all, so I'm like having to do math. Hmm. No, just mm. bet it all, and like that's why. Oh, I need to do a bet. Hold on. Uh, I'll do the Tony voice real quick. Reddo's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I need one more bet, I believe. I'm missing a player. One, two. Oh, Samer. Wait, am I still? I've got Roth, Jasper, Kelsey, Patrick, Samer. Oh, it's because I've got your thing open, Louise. So, okay, yeah, I've got everyone. Okay, we ready? Yep. Okay. Yep. Who is the men's Uh... figure? It's figure skating Grand Grand Prix. Who is the men's figure skater currently known as the Quad God? Bonus, he is not to be confused with the Quad King, who is currently not participating in this Grand Prix season, just FYI. An extra 50% if you can name the Quad King, but you have to know the name of Quad God first. And a bonus bonus, if you could tell me how many turns <sighs> are in the Quad Axle, which is what makes Quad God, Quad God. I edited your blog about this, hell yeah. Oh, I forgot that you did. It was a blog cave, yeah. No, it was a Sunday. Oh yeah, it was a Sunday. The larger blood, the more roomy with more stalactites. And I know it's kind of like the blood cave, but just the like same yeah. difference. Right, right, right. I definitely knew this guy's name, but I forgot it. I'm just gonna send in my stupid guess, and then <laughs> I guess I'll wait to see who wins. But like, I have to take the train home. I gotta make dinner. Okay, extra fifty percent. <laughs> I'll wait. How I'm going to see. turns are in a quad axle? I'm really that I didn't say that you needed to name quad god to get the bonus for the quad axle. So I suppose someone could not name quad god and still get that. Also, I didn't see how much this bonus was. Yeah, I guess I'll also make it more 50%. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. Sorry. It was a busy week. Wait, Roth, did you say you have to go home and be a family man? I do literally have to go home and be a family man. Like, I have Aww. to prepare dinner for my what turtle. What are you making for dinner? Oh, well, this is a turtle. good question, Kelsey. <laughs> if, it, if I didn't think it was going to distract everyone else, I could give you the different <laughs> options that we have. Uh, well, Diana, is it distracting them in the our best interest? Again? I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much out of this one, so Thank I'm you. happy to join oh, you in this. Uh, yeah, uh, either we, ordinarily we have pasta oh, on Fridays. Oh, but I have Slack on my phone. But because we got easier. our defector holiday party event tomorrow, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, we could move the pasta up to tonight. Of course, we got wow. a couple of different options there. We could do the sardine one uh, that Ooh. Kate likes. We could do this one with leeks and, and veggie sausage. It's mm-hmm. pretty easy. Um, or we could just uh, do what we have gotten back into the habit of doing on Thursdays, which is going to the sushi place in our neighborhood that we like. I think, wow. do I have- Those all sound like great options. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm looking forward to it either way. Yeah. <laughs> do I have everyone, I like hold that. on. And those are all for the turtle? No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we will be eating, Kate and I, as usual, will be eating some weird green pellets that I put on our Okay, plate okay, got without it. Without utensils, just <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think it, like, I've got everyone. <laughs> Are we ready? I've got, I want Roth to get home to his pasta. So thank you. Call it, we're good. Also, we had a pasta related question in here that you missed in the first round, Roth. So I just wanted oh. you to know that. I I'll know. go back and break down the tape afterwards. <laughs> okay. Sammer, bet it all. 
he believes the quad god's first name is Jason. You're thinking of Jason Brown, who actually has no quads. Um, oh, drag him. He's a beautiful artist, though. We still <laughs> love him. I think he came in fourth in the Olympics, so Sam is now zero. <laughs> Lauren X Roth. Um, let me get, I need to pull up my Roth DM. Roth bet ten dollars and said it was Stanley Tucci, which is incorrect, though. I, <laughs> I don't doubt that he's not elegant on the ice, but since yeah. he only bet ten dollars. That was my process. Four nine zero. So wow. I'm winning. Patrick, um, who I forgot edited this blog I wrote. <laughs> yeah, I put it on the board. In. Correct. Quad God is Nathan Chen. Quad Axel has, say it, Patrick. 4.5. Four and a half turns. That's why it's the hardest. Every other jump is only four turns. Quad Axel. I'm just glad that I could get reminded of what the, because it was on the tip of my tongue, Nathan Chen. Yeah, so you got, so you bet it all. So that's, oh, fuck, math. Um, Okay. Wait, how many is the bonus bonus? I'm just going to say it's also an extra 50% because I forgot to write that. So I feel like that would be fair as opposed to making something up right now on the top of my head. So just 2,800 times three, whatever. Yeah, just do that. Well, it's an extra 50%. So it would be like, he bet it all. So it's 2,800 times. Oh, I see what you're saying. Just times three. It's 8,400. 8,400. Thank you. Someone hasn't taken a math class in a while. It's fine. Okay, 8,400. Louis, oh wait, don't do that. Louis. I, I, I'll i just tell you, I bet it all and didn't even try. Okay. So, yeah. Luis is at zero. Jasper. ABC. Jasper, you got Nathan Chen, but you don't know the other guy, but you did know that the quad axle is four and a half turns. So you get one of the bonuses but i don't get to give you nathan chen because i said you have to name quad god first <laughs> on that one so he bet 2001 points so you just get half of that so that would be a thousand point five points i, believe. I won that point five yeah <laughs> you even do point five it would be amazing if someone we won are by about to find point. out oh nice okay i won the, that point you have the five. most digits in your score jasper yep <laughs> And then, Kelsey, <laughs> Melinda is quad god. Yes. Is nice. Chen quad king? Oh. Yes. Why Kelsey's doing this <laughs> with a question like it's really <laughs> Quad Axel is, I don't fucking know, 4.5 turns. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh, oh Patrick with the early celebration. Yeah. Oh, Take that, Patty. <laughs> Nice. Wait, did Kelsey bet, bet at all? all? Doesn't Kelsey usually bet he like five? He bet forty six hundred. Okay. Yeah, that, oh, that'll do. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a huge deal. Over the top, yeah. that alone would put her at like ten thousand. Nice. There's some more bonus, so yeah. it's like this. It's like thirteen thousand something. Yeah. You could give work. her a hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> it's like well, one hundred thousand point five. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I did. Kelsey. Nice work. Nice work. Kelsey. Kelsey. Oh, I shouldn't have been able to answer. There you go. Z. Okay. Roll it in. Okay. Kelsey, your reward. Do you want to host the last Defector <gasps> Thursday Night Trivia of 2022 in two weeks? Oh my God. It would be my honor. Beautiful. So when that's uh, December 15th. December 15th. Okay, great. You cannot. It's a good thing we're not doing weekly because next week. I cannot. I will be. Normal vomiting. Gossip Live well, Show. Right. Live. You should plug for our. <laughs> Folks yeah. who are here online, there can they still get tickets to the no. online? Stream yeah, or? all the live the live tickets are still available online oh, right. if you would yeah. like you to know watch it from the comfort the of your home. So I can drop it. Ooh. I don't know what the link is. And yeah. that's oh, it's at Ace of Spades in Sacramento on K Street. Yep. That's, that's I see enough. Jasper working. Jasper, I believe, will have this <laughs> that's link. It. Yeah, Jasper, Thank drop you, Jasper. it somewhere. It's in the chat. In the chat Sorry, I'd like to clarify Ace of Spades is on J, not K. Wow, okay, got to go. Yeah, bye, Rob. Go home. Bye, Let Rob. us know what yeah. pasta you choose. Right. <laughs> Will do. All right, see y'all. Bye. Uh, Jasper, do you have a Twitch account to drop it in the chat? I actually have never seen it in the chat. I, I if you go to it. sixthenai.org, you can find yes. it under their yeah. event page. You can, if you have the link, you can send it to me on Slack in the next 10 seconds, and I Wait, will put I'm it I'm going to go on a run. Nice right. boards. Bye, Good bye. Way. I got it. Hold on. Bye. 10. Nice. Hold on, Louise. I put it in the chat. Drama queen. Here what you go. Chat? I put it in oh, the, the chat. Oh, the Zoom box. chat. Oh. oh. I gave it to you in Slack, too. Why can't I copy this? Okay, there. If you want to. It'll be fun. Watch the live Probably. Stream, it's uh, what? Wednesday it and Thursday? It'll definitely Wednesday be fun. Wednesday and It'll Thursday. Be so much fun. Yeah. It's. Oh, the bed is still open. Who won? Kelsey won. 26%.
Wow, forty-seven percent of you voted for me. I'm honored. Thank you to all of you who believed you in me. Wrong. I hope that you get to do lots of ratos loving it that only Louise can hear. <laughs> I need to find a way to make you guys be able. To no, hear I've never heard <laughs> right. this. I have no concept of what it even sounds like. Uh, I think is it a bot? Oh yeah, in Slack or it's in Slack somewhere. Discount anyway. code is Gossip Stream if you're still <gasps> here. There you go. All right, nice. bye everyone. <laughs> bye. bye.